Hello and welcome to Dublin Zoo's Nature Connect activities. I'm Kelly from the Discovery and Learning team and today our theme is pollinators. So what are pollinators? Well pollinators are animals that are really important for us and for plants too. They help plants make lots of seeds which help those plants make more plants and some of those plants turn into the very tasty fruits that we might like to eat. So things like apples, pears, blackberries and strawberries. Yummy, yummy. Things that are lovely to eat on a very hot day like today. So they also get thirsty whenever they're looking for that food and bees are very, very busy animals and so are our butterflies. We want to give them somewhere where they can land safely on to get a nice refreshing drink and a pit stop. So you will need something like this, a dish, or maybe a flower pot or even a frisbee, something that allows you to place and hold some rocks or stones in, or maybe even some marbles that you might have at home. So I'm gonna start with this dish and some marbles. It's gonna get really, really noisy. So you can make lots of noise at home when you do this as well, but your rocks or your marbles, make it rain. As noisy as possible. We're gonna place in our water next. Now they've got nice landing pads that can land safely on and they can make sure they get access to their lovely water down below as well. So this has turned into a lovely colorful pot, but if you have a flower pot or frisbee, you can also decorate it with flowers nearby or maybe some crafts. So the first thing we might do is put on some of our crafts. We made them into lovely flower shapes because the bees will be attracted to the flowers. So we've got some yellow there, but we've also made some purple because purple is actually one of bees absolute favorite colors. We're also gonna add in maybe some little parts that look like butterflies. The other thing we could add in is some nice flowers. So these again will help them see where to come and know that you want them to visit this area. So we're gonna put in a few different flowers and they can also use them as landing pads too. So lots of different colors because butterflies and bees do like different varieties of colors. If you don't have these at home, that's okay. You can use your crafts instead. So these are some of the examples that we've made today to help out our busy pollinators. They're lovely and colorful, a big invitation for them to come and get their very refreshing drinks nearby. We place this one up high, but we can place them in lots of different locations around our home. We're so excited. You can probably hear the buzz of a bumblebee in the background. Oh, it's stopped for a little rest at the moment. It's just in behind here. And if we're very, very lucky, be able to see it and it might stop by our water bats very soon. Busy at work. So this looks like a pretty good spot for our pollinators to find their special water bath that we've created. It's up high so they can see it, it's really colourful and it's protected from any other animals that might be nearby with the bushes and at that level height. So we are absolutely buzzing to see what you create as part of your water baths to help out your pollinators at home. Thank you so much again for joining us today. We'll see you next time for our next Nature Connect activity.